Hey guys, more Logic Pro X tips. Uh, here's another quick cycle range tip. Um, with songs, whether it's rock, pop, or electronic compositions, they're usually made out of chunks of eight bars or chunks of four bars, right? So, you know, you want to audition a particular section of the song, a four bar or eight bar section of the song. Like here, I've got one, two, three, four, five blocks of four bars, right? So, you know, you just cycle around the bit you want to audition or, and tweak something and hit play. You know, while it's cycling around, you tweak, right? Now, if you then want to move to cycle around the next four bar section, shift, command, full stop, boom, and the cycle range jumps down to, right down to the next four bars. Shift, command, full stop, the next four bars. Shift, command, full stop, the next four bars. To do it the other way, shift command comma, shift command comma, shift command comma, and it goes back the other way. Okay. However long your cycle range is, it just shifts down so it begins where it currently ends. So if my cycle range was only two bars long, ending at bar eight, shift command full stop, it'll shift down the song, beginning where it currently ends at bar eight. Boom. And then each time I do shift command full stop, it just jumps to begin where it currently ends in one direction or shift command comma back the other way so it's very useful that you can put a cycle range around a section of the song hit play while it's cycling around tweak something shift command full stop jump to the next four bars hit play while it's cycling around tweak shift command full stop while it's cycling around tweak you know really cool and shift command comma just does it the other direction all right that can be useful from time to time